Hello everyone! In this video, I want to talk about a commonly asked question which has been presented to me in various forums and that is, once the loop walking animation is done, how do we stop the loop animation or how do we create a start walking animation for it so that we can use the loop animation in our project? If you like more of these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe and share it with your friends so we can all learn together. And if you're interested in rigging the character and you want to learn from the very basics and fundamentals which are preparing the character, rigging and creating different poses for the character, I highly recommend this course. Okay, without further ado, let's start. As you can see, this is the walking animation that I created manually before and it's sloped perfectly. Let me open its comp and check it out. Let me shy everything except for the controllers. As you can see, I only created keyframes for it at the beginning. And from this point on forward, the animation loops and repeats flawlessly. I head back to the main comp. Now I want to create a start walking animation for the character. But before I begin, for those who still don't know how to create a walking animation from scratch, I urge you to go ahead and watch this video. The first thing that I need to do is create a starting phase for walking animation in which the character in the beginning is standing still and then it begins to walk. To do that, first I duplicate the character loop comp. Then right click on it and on the reveal, I head on reveal layer source in project so the comp would be selected in the project panel. And after that, I duplicate this comp and rename it to character begin, which I'll be using for the start walking of the character. Then I hold alt and drag it onto the upper comp, so the sources of these two comps would be different. And whenever I made change to this comp, it wouldn't be applied to the other comp as well. Okay, after that, I want the start walking animation to happen in 15 frames. And after frame 15, it would be just a loop walking animation. For that, I open the character begin comp. I should create keyframes for the controllers on frame 15, which is the last frame of this comp. Because I want to have this pose for the last frame, so the transition between the two comps would be seamless and flawless. This one already has keyframes. This one too. And for this one, I create a keyframe. Here, the rotation is set to zero, so I create a keyframe for it and set it to zero. Here, the rotation of the head is set to minus 1.8, so I create a keyframe and set it to minus 1.8. Here, I create keyframes as well, and the values haven't changed, so I don't need to enter the same values again. Here, it's 19.8, I create a keyframe for it and enter the value. Here it's minus 20, and here it's 6. Well, after doing this, I can safely delete the other keyframes. I select all the keyframes, then hold shift, and unselect these keyframes, and hit the delete button. But only for the right arm, because I moved its keyframe backward, I select all these values and move the keyframes forward, then delete these keyframes, so that only these remain. I do the same for the body, because I moved some of the keyframes backward, and I don't want them to be there anymore. I do the same for these two. and here as well. After that, I select all the keyframes and make them easy ease. I go back to the beginning of the timeline. As you can see, this part of the hand is moving, so I select the left arm properties and move these forward and delete these keyframes. So now there shouldn't be anything moving in this interval. Well, I created the final pose of the animation, and now I move back to the beginning and create a standing pose for the character. To do that, first I set the rotation of the legs and feet to zero. I mark the crown using the ruler so I can place the feet of the character in the right place.
I make the arms of the character straight as well. This arm too. I create keyframes for the other two so there won't be any problem. After that I go to frame 7 and as you can see the left leg moves forward so I should move it up in this frame. Let me enable this option so I can see the path of the animation better. I move this up and rotate it back a bit. And the body of the character moves up a bit in this frame. So the body of the character moves up when he moves his leg up and moves down when his feet touch the ground. I head back to the main comp and right here in the second tree, I trim the work area by hitting the end button. And then let's see how the transition between these two comps is. Alright, once that's done, now it's time to work on the stop walking animation. For example, after 6 seconds, when the right leg is forward, I want to create the stop walking animation. For that, I duplicate the character loop comp, and I move its beginning over here. And I have to create such a pose at the beginning of the animation. For that I open the comp, mm, but before that I have to change the source of this comp too. To do that I duplicate the character loop, then change its name, and by holding alt and dragging it onto the new comp, I change its source. I go to the new comp, and here I want to have this pose at the start of this comp, because the last frame of the loop comp shows exactly this pose. And by doing this, transitioning between the two comps would be smooth. So I create a keyframe here. These do have keyframes. I create keyframes for these. And I do the same for these as well. And then I select all the other keyframes and delete them. Also I select all the values that have keyframes, then move them forward. And I delete the previous keyframes. Then I move the keyframes back to the beginning of the timeline and make them easy ease. Since the walk cycle was done in 30 frames, I head over to frame 15 and I have to reverse the position of the legs. However, their gap should be a bit less than usual because I want the character to slowly stop. I turn this on and make the controller of this leg visible. And then let's work on the reversing the legs. To put the left leg forward, isolate the keyframes of the right leg, copy them and paste them for the left leg. I do the opposite for the right leg so the legs would be reversed. Then I decrease the gap between the legs so the character gets ready to stop. It's good, and the body of the character should move up so both of the legs would be straight. I move the left leg to the left and again I move up the body so both of the legs would be straight. Well, it's good. Then in the middle of these two keyframes, which is the right leg under the body, I move up the body so the legs would be straight. At this point, I should make the passing pose for the left leg. This should go up. And it should be rotated back a bit. Let's give it a look to see how it turned out. It should rotate even more. Right here, I decrease its rotation. But before I should delete the loop expression from the properties. So I hold Alt and left click on the stopwatch of all the properties. And at frame 30, the left leg would be exactly under the body. In this pose, it should be straight.
To match the initial and final poses of the walking animation, I open the character begin comp and here I copy the initial keyframes of the left leg. Also here I should have disabled the loop expressions of these properties. After copying the initial keyframes of the left leg controller, I come here and paste them for the left leg controller. I do the same for the right leg. Copy the initial keyframes and paste them for the right leg here. Let's give it a look. It looks good so far. Here, exactly between these two keyframes, the right leg should move up a little bit. I set this to zero and rotate it back. After that, it's time to work on animating the arms. They look good here, but here they should be reversed. So I rotate the left arm back and the right arm forward. However, I decrease its rotation because the character wants to stop. And here I set it to zero. And this one too. I also move it back so it looks better. To match the arms with the initial pose, I come here and copy the keyframes of the left arm and paste them for the left arm here. Do the same for the right arm. And now let's give it a look. Here I move up the body a little bit. And in the end, I copy the initial keyframes of the body from here. And paste it here. Let's see how it turned out. Let me make the keyframes of the arms easy ease again. I think that the arms should rotate even more. And in the end, because I don't want the arms to stop at once, I move the right arm to the back a little bit. Again, 15 frames ahead, I move it forward. And again 10 frames ahead, I copy and paste the initial keyframe of the right arm from here. So that the arm would stop with delay and it would look more realistic. I set the gap to 15 frames and make them easy hits. Let's check it out one more time. Well, it's good. Let's back to the main comp and here where the animation ends. I trim the work area and play the animation to see how it turned out. I think it's better here to move down the body of the character a bit. So I come here, when the left leg is on the passing pose, I move the body down a bit. Here it moves up, and here it goes down. And then it moves up again. Let's see. I trim the work area here to preview the animation. I can work on the details even more to get better results. But probably it's enough so far because I think you understand the main rule and that is at the beginning of the animation there should be a start phase added to the animation loop. And when the transition between the two happens, the character should be in the same exact pose, so this transition would be seamless. And also for the sub phase, firstly the final frame of the loop animation, and the first frame of the stop animation should be identical, so once again the transition would be smooth. 
and after that the stop animation is done based on however you like. Once that's done, you can easily start this cycle again or do this cycle as many times as you want. I duplicate these comps and place them right here. As you can see, if I play, the character starts to walk again. And it stops here again. And if you want the walk animation to be longer for the second time, you just have to extend the loop comp. But the only thing to pay attention to is that the final frame of this comp has to be identical to the initial frame of the next comp, which means the right leg of the character should be forward. So I come here and trim the comp and place this comp here. Let me change the color of these comps so it would be obvious. Alright, I extended the loop and now the character stops walking. Piece of cake. I delete these for now and trim the work area here. I want to animate the shadow of the character as well. For that I open the scale and position. Create a keyframe for both of them and move them here. Here I set the X scale to 50 and I change its position as well. Here where the transition happens, I move these keyframes here. Again, I copy and paste them here. And in the end where the character stops moving, I paste the initial keyframes. And then I make them easy ease. After that, it's time to work on matching the background with the animation. In order to make the processing of the background lighter, I open the background comp and just solo these layers so I can work with the background more easily. I select the main null of the background which moves the entire scene. I create a keyframe for its position here. And another one in the beginning. Here, I move the background to the left a little bit and make the first keyframe easy. I head back to the main comp and right here, I create a keyframe for the null and move the background back more. Let's see how it turned out so far. It looks good. Then right here, again I create a keyframe for the null and move it to the left a bit. And make it easy so it would stop smoothly. Let's watch the last part. It should stop a little bit sooner and move less. So I create a keyframe here and place it on the last keyframe and move this keyframe backward a bit. I make it easy ease as well. Let's check it out. Looks good to me. Once that's done, I unsolo the layers. And back to the main comp and let's give it a shot and see how it looks. but you can use your creativity and different references to get even better results. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out on anything, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Good luck.